issues. As you can imagine, a lot of the young fans getting pops and moms to take pictures of them with the 85 championship trophy. Probably the most valuable player defensively because he had to take on Patrick Ewing in that game in 85 was mm -hmm. Ed Pinkney. And I think the key was for him to play and keep him stable, not allow Ewing to go off in that game. And last night, Ed Pinkney had these comments about what he remembered most about that evening in Lexington. Well, just, just the look on my parents' face. I mean, a after the game, we, we've now won. And, you know, the entire week, we're, we're all, uh, all of us, all of the, the players on the team are here. We're not going to win this game. And, uh, you know, I just remember seeing him, seeing my, my mother, hugging them. And, uh, you know, no words were really spoken. Just We're just hugging each other because it was the culmination of you know the recruiting process finally getting to a school and then having experienced this and you know that's not what you go into it for some do um uh, but we were lucky enough to to achieve it but that that's the moment that sticks out in my mind the most Ed is the one starter that couldn't be here tonight because he had to go back to chicago he's on the staff of the chicago bulls but without question Going into that championship, and Bill, I remember even you saying it at the time, because they played one another so closely in Big East Conference mm -hmm. games that year, there was no fear factor for Pinkney dealing with the mighty Hoyas, and specifically Patrick Ewing. Rowley felt they matched up better with yeah. Georgetown. At 52-50, 57-50, everybody knew it was going to be a tough game, and uh, Georgetown would have had back-to-back, -back, and just think... The Carolina game they have had three during the yeah. run. So just a phenomenal run for Georgetown as well. But uh, yeah. uh, Eddie Pickney, most outstanding player in the tournament. And both teams had a bunch of kids that oh, that's all right. went right yeah. to, to Garf. Howie Garfinkel in the, uh, uh, you know, you talk.